Hi everyone, Daniel here. Welcome to the latest Falconet devlog where we take a look at the latest updates to the alpha build of Falconet. The first thing I'm sure you noticed is that we added character avatars and dialogue. These will be there to guide the player and give the player hints throughout each level. For now, we have the dialogue only at the beginning of each level, but in future releases, the dialogue will appear throughout the level. The next thing we updated is the first map. We added parallax scrolling to give some more depth to the world and help it not feel so bland. This feature is very typical of retro games back in the day. Thanks to all of those who provided uh, feedback on this aspect. Some other visual updates include the weapons HUD, where we included the weapon names, as you can see in the top left. This will help the players make a connection to the weapons when the characters refer to them in the dialogue. This will also be more helpful in future releases. We also implemented some screen shakes to help improve the feel of the game. You will notice that the screen shakes when the torpedo explodes and when you get hit by an enemy projectile. We also added some screen shaking when you fire the railgun to give a knockback feeling. This is because the railgun is the most powerful weapon and we really want the players to feel that. Another feature we added based on feedback and watching streamers play the game is a pause key. Now you can just press the spacebar and the game will pause. This feature may also be helpful when you are stuck in a difficult situation and you need to take a quick break to plan your next move. There weren't many changes to the enemies besides an adjustment we made to the mole. We made them a little more aggressive in terms of how often they fire. We also made it so that they start going invisible as soon as they are spawned. We found that they were a little too easy to destroy, but now they are a bit more of a challenge. Now, you may be wondering what that blue bar is on the right. Well, I've saved the best new feature for Lost, and that is a new game mechanic, power-up and special abilities. After collecting enough energy cores, the energy bar will fill up and the player can press either the F key on the keyboard or all trigger buttons at the same time on the controller and you will be able to use the special ability. For now, we only have the special ability for the torpedo. In the future, each weapon will have their own special abilities. Right, that's all for this video. Please remember to subscribe to our channel. All these features are available in the latest downloadable demo. We would also love to have you join our community on Discord. You can check the description for links. Thanks for watching. Cheers.